Hey everyone, uh, pardon if I'm a little like sweaty and tired, uh, but I just got back from a bike ride and it started raining. Um, but while I was on the bike ride, I remembered that I had not made a video about my new camera strap. Now I know that's super fucking exciting and everybody wants to hear about it, uh, but either way, you know, here goes. Uh, it's a pretty cool system uh, that's going on here. Um, so I have the Canon 60D and I had the stock strap that came with it, which is all well and good, but it really kind of pulls your neck down, the camera sits here and you don't have as much mobility and, you know, it, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so I'm a Frono's Photo fan uh, and he's been covering and doing giveaways for uh, Black Rapid Straps. Um, now I didn't win the contest, but I was like, screw it. I'll just buy it, um, and I can't be more pleased. Now, Black Rapid makes these crossbody camera straps. Um, it's to alleviate, you know, problems with the neck, increased mobility, you know, all the things I mentioned. Um, I will have another video going into a little more detail about this, but you know, I kind of need a wide angle, so I'm shooting this with a flip, and I have the camera on the strap, um, so you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, so this is the Black Rapid RS Sport. Um, I got the Sport version because it's a little bit of a thinner, less uh, bulky system. Now there is an RS Sport 2, which is actually thinner than this one. But I'm kind of glad I didn't get that, and I'll get to it in a second. Um, but basically, yeah, a crossbody camera strap system. You have the padded area here that rests on your shoulder, uh, again like a messenger bag. Um, you have a clip uh, for under the arm and this kind of adds security and stability to the system. Now if you can see my camera is on my hip. This is where you're supposed to wear it so you can just reach down and grab it. Um, so the camera's sitting down here and I have it in the locked position and I'm making a fool out of myself but it's really not moving. Um, it's locked down here at my hip. Uh, now for the most part, what you're going to do is there are these little clips. So you bring the clip up, you know, to an acceptable area. Uh, you lock it in, and then when you're ready to take a shot, you just reach down to your hip and you pull up the camera. You take a couple shots, you know, um, and then you can just let it, you know, fall back down to your hip. Uh, it's a really great system because again it alleviates the weight from your neck um, this is very balanced you know I feel the weight on my left shoulder but I'm also feeling it down here you know it's a balanced system you kind of forget that it's there unlike you know regular camera straps where again it's it's a constant feeling um, it also feels very secure what it does is it screws in there's a fastener that screws into your tripod mount on the bottom of your camera um, you're supposed to get it, you know, like wet, uh, <laughs> moist, um, you know, and it kind of locks in. It's very secure. It doesn't turn unless you want it to turn. Uh, there's also like a carabiner right here. Um, so you clip that onto the mount bracket and then you screw it in. There's a little like cap that you screw. So you have the security in the tripod mount. You have the security of the carabiner, which is locked closed and then you have it at your hip and again you can lock it down here so it's not going to move um, like I said I just got back from a bike ride and I had the strap on the entire time and I wasn't worried it wasn't moving around it was pretty great um, like I said actual shooting with it you pull it up you take a shot uh, now with the 60D you know you have the flip out screen I'd recommend keeping that closed if you need the screen and that would be more for movies because unless you're shooting at a weird angle you wouldn't have a strap but either way um, you wouldn't have the flip out screen open because with stills it's better to use you know the viewfinder the the live focus system is slow and not always accurate so always use the viewfinder with the you know take stills um, but again, you know, that's just a minor inconvenience. You pull it up, you flip the screen out, and, you know, you can review pictures. The great thing is when you're taking shots, um, if you're taking it a little bit away from the body, this adds a lot of stability. It's not quite as stable as, like, a dedicated, uh, you know, mount or, or stability system for filming, um, 
but regardless, it gets the job done. Uh, but like I said, I'm totally pleased with this. Um, my only downside is this strap works for me. Uh, like I said, there's the RS Sport 2, which is a little slimmer. But this one barely, like this is the longest length. I'm a little bit of a bulkier guy. Um, at the longest length, it just sits at my hip. Um, for anyone bigger than my build, you may want to go. They have an RS7 and an RS5, uh, which have added benefits as well, uh, such as pouches where you can keep um, compact flashcards, SD cards, lens cleaning cloths. You know, it's right here. You flip it up. Um, but I just wanted something slim. I'm glad this worked, but I'm also glad I didn't get the RS Sport 2 because that may have been a little too short or whatever. Um, but either way, I know this wasn't the greatest video. I don't know when I will. Maybe it'll be the same time as this. Maybe not. Uh, I'll post a video I shot with the 60D of the strap so you can kind of see some of the mechanics up closer. Um, but if you, you know, you're in the market, for new camera strap, you know, for photography or filming, this is a phenomenal system. Um, I think it kind of surpasses and is, is a little more practical than that new, and I forget what it's called, the new belt system where you clip on the belt and your camera, your DSLR snaps in. Um, I think this just kind of fits it a little better. And obviously, you could wear a backpack with this or, you know, do a lot of things. It's a, it's a fully mobile system. Uh, so either way, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy it or want to see more videos like this, please you know leave comments, favorite, subscribe. Um, this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be doing in addition to movie reviews and rants and you know you kind of get everything here. Uh, so thanks a lot, and I hope to you know put up some more videos soon. Thanks.